You're probably wondering what the hell this thing is. What up, AFAM? Kitty here with the Tola Visuals. And right here is the Snopa, Snoopa, Snopa, Snopa. I'm gonna call it the Snopa M1. This is the most portable phone gimbal I've ever seen because it folds up, folds out, comes out like this, and within seconds, it's already balanced and stabilized. I can appreciate that this has a very unique design. It does not look like the other gimbals. All the other gimbals have sort of the motors on this side. It's about 8.2 inches, which is kind of like a flashlight or, you know, other devices in this shape. It fits easily in your pocket. I can fit this in my pocket. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, uh. I like to keep it in my Peak Design bag on the bottom compartment, it fits perfectly. It's also 15 to 16 ounces, which is a little under one pound. So it, in weight wise, it's similar to other phone gimbals. Payload, I don't really know for sure, but some people were saying that their iPhone 8 Plus was kind of working with it. It just wasn't working well with the portrait mode. The iPhone 10 was working with it. I have a Google Pixel here and it works just fine. The battery is rechargeable via USB, but it's permanent, so you can't replace it with other batteries. And the battery life itself is four hours. It's not great, but I've never had it die on me yet. And then there's only this one button here to change modes, turn it on turn it off. So another thing that it comes with is its own counterweight. On the bottom here, you could just kind of pull it out with your fingers or use a flathead screwdriver. You could customize it based on what phone you have. So bigger phones will obviously need more weight. I just kind of keep all the weights in here. I don't really adjust this. The entire thing is made out of a matte black plastic, sturdy enough to throw in your bag and not need a case. So that's important. Let's head back to Portland so I can show you some test footage. Okay, we're going to do the four T's, which is trail, tram, train, trolley, I believe. So we're going to go around the entire downtown area of Portland and see it that way. Test this out on this trip. And yeah, it's going to be a grand old time. We kind of lost, but this will be a fun adventure. Set it up, you just put your phone in the middle, as close to the middle as you can, pull it out, double tap like you would with any DJI drone product and it'll just turn on. So to change the positions on this gimbal, it's very hands-on. If you want, this is horizontal mode by the way, if you want to get into portrait mode, you just kind of grab it, flip it around like so. You can Snapchat, IG stories. If you want to exit this mode, you just flip it around. If you need to do it on the other side, same thing. Grab the top, hold it steady for a few seconds. Magic. They also have this inverted mode, which they like to call the underslung mode. It's a funny name. You just take the top again, flip it all the way around, and now you can get those low angles. And then to exit, you just I just kind of whip it around until it gets back to normal. Be gentle, but you don't have to be too gentle. You know what I'm saying? When you want to turn this off or you like want to walk over to somewhere else to shoot, put it up like this, the motors will stop. And make sure your hands aren't in this area or else you're gonna pinch your skin and just close it like that. When I'm trying to get to my next shot, no problem, I'll just leave the phone on. And then if you see something you want to shoot, just pull it out real fast and it'll adjust pretty much instantly. It'll remember the same mode you were on and you can keep shooting.
box when you first get it. It's kind of interesting packaging. You have to rip around the box. And the first thing you see is the quick setup instructions and then the gimbal itself is inside this gray styrofoam which I think needs a little bit more refining, but it doesn't really matter since you won't need a case, you could just throw this out. This comes with the gimbal, of course, extra counterweight and a USB cable, and that's about it. The full instruction packet is in the top of the box, which I almost missed, so be sure to look there. So I also got the GoPro mount, which came in a separate white box with no label, so I didn't know what it was. You could also stick your GoPro on this gimbal, versatile, but we all know where GoPro's headed, so will you need it? Who knows? The pros with this gimbal is that obviously it folds up so it's super portable. It's a no-brainer for balancing. You just throw your phone literally in the middle here. So if this is your first gimbal, it's perfect. No learning curve here. It's easy setting up and breaking down. Also, if you want to include a mic on your phone, there's nothing interfering with the ports here. Unlike, I think the Osmo Mobile will block your mic jack. This one clearly does not. And I think the last pro is that the design is cool. It's just different from all the rest. There's no motors on this side, so it's pretty easy to just throw in a pocket. You could also use their free Snope app. I got it working here on the Android. I'm pretty sure it's on iOS as well. You can record video on here, change the gimbal modes, update firmware, and change the resolution. A couple of cons, this outer handle plastic is too thin and it's kind of creaky. You also can't mount this on a tripod, even though there's a tripod mount on the bottom to screw it in. So you gotta keep it on this 60 degree to 45 degree angle here. That's where it likes it best. Ooh. And it doesn't take phone cases, and that's why. <laughs> I have the Moment Lens phone case on here. It doesn't work with this one. Maybe a thinner case would work, but I just take it off, which is unfortunate. I wish they would change that in future generations of the gimbal. Lastly, there's no battery indicator, even on the app. I haven't used it enough to run out completely. I always charge it after the end of the day, so I didn't have that issue, but it would just, be nice to know like, yo, I have 35% left, so I'm gonna save it for these shots. So this is good if you do a lot of run and gun, so you can just close it up, open it back up to get the shot. You won't have to fiddle with any buttons or the app. I like that it was super fast on the load up. There you have it, that is the Snopa M1. Thank you for hanging out with me, I truly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. You could also stalk me in my IG. I stay current on those comments and those DMs. I read every single one of them. So until next time, I'll see you when I see you. You do you, fam. Mm, done. I really like doing this. This is fun. Yeah, there's fingerprints. Don't want to look like a scrub on camera now, do we? So that is that. What is happening? I don't know. This thing's all fucked up. Finally. We're tourists. We don't know.